Taurus, welcome. It's your singles reading for single Taurus here. Call it the end of January 2022. It's a timeless reading for whenever you see this, I believe. Um, and what I want to do here, it's a always positive read because I'm simply asking spirit to describe the person that's right for you. This person that's right for you, that's next to come in your life and is best for you. So that's why I say it's, it's hard to go wrong. So I want to get a look at your person here, uh, sun, moon, rising, and Venus and Taurus people could be. And boy, you know, two kings. Uh, what we have here is the four pillars, by the way. It's the emotional nature, two cards, intellectual here. Uh, this is the love and sexual nature. And this I call core values and lifestyle here. So um, I think we have a, a kind of really a uh, story to tell. It's kind of from riches to rags kind of story. Um, not really to rags, but to uh, maybe that's what the death is. There's a transformation, you know. But it was like a backwards transformation. Uh, the overall energy of it uh, would be someone that was uh, born uh, into, uh, they had a very good childhood. I think it might have been a little bit cold. It's actually here is a Gemini moon. And I do see the moon here in the emotional aspect. So I can say that they have going to have a Gemini moon. I think it's in a, an earth house. Okay, so it's in the second house, the uh, sixth house, or the tenth house, like that. Um, and I think... For the sun sign here, we have a Sagittarius personality. So, Taurus, we're looking at a Sagittarius sun. Yeah. Um, and with the uh, devil here and the king of pentacles, this is in the uh, Venus energy and the Mars energy. I think we're looking at a Sagittarius has both a Venus and a Mars in Capricorn. Okay. So it's quite a mix here, quite a balance here. Um, and even the Gemini moon, um, which is in, um, uh, let's say, the most curious moon, along with Sag moon, maybe, of the Zodiac. So like a very active mind, you know, um, and uh, usually a very good mind. Um, and, but they would definitely would combine with the Sagittarius Sun. They'd be someone that would be willing to move along, you know, uh, just kind of keep things uh, moving along. Um, I think they're going to find that this person, though, has an Aquarius Mercury. And that's going to be big, I think, like in their personality. Uh, it really helps them because, like I say, with this, uh, you could just, between a Gemini moon, Sag Sun, um, you could just kind of skip over a lot of information, a lot of everything. Um, but it'd really be big picture. Um, and, or maybe possibly, you know, Gemini is seeing the details and Sag is seeing the, you know, big picture. Um, so, uh, but I think the fact that they have this Aquarius uh, Mercury, which is like the best Mercury, it cuts through the things here this queen of swords and you see this here i mean this person um they definitely can cut through things this could be your classic sag remember this is your person there's nothing bad here uh, but they're definitely going to be outgoing definitely going to be outspoken but i think in a fun way they might tell jokes um but they're i mean they're right up there they're right out there you know uh, you know, like I'm a Sag, one of my, my best friend now, years ago we met, he, went, he said, man, you're kind of wide open. You're just, you're the same, like no matter who you talk to. And I'm like, well, why not? You know, I said, you know, a lot of people are going to dislike you, man, but who cares? I mean, what counts is the ones that like you, so you might as well just be yourself and figure that out fast. So, I mean, they're that kind of person. I mean, authentic. They're just authentic. It's not like they're obnoxious. They're not like, hey, you know, you got to look at things my way. Um, I think they'd be pretty easy going here. Um, and I think they could, I don't want to use the word, like dualistic. Uh, you know, um, the the moon's in this earth house. They have this cancer. Um, I'd be curious how they got single because they don't look, 
even, you know, here's the Sag, you know, they say, oh, Sag can't commit, can't run the long haul. No, this person's going to fall in love carefully, more like an earth sign, and they're going to approach love and relationship, and when they make a commitment, I mean, I can see it being pretty solid. Even got they got the most sincere card in the deck right here, this little <laughs> page of pentacles here, scream sincerity. That's like talking about some kind of mid-heaven energy. Here's their lifestyle and core values, guys. But I think, Taurus, there's a lot here for you to like with their Venus and Mars. You know, it's going to relate well to any Taurus energy you have, especially if you have more than your sun. If you have personal plants there. Because um, I don't think they're going to react like they would, you might typically assume, even maybe from their personality. Like, honestly, has put it in simplistic. They might come across a little bit like a player or like light, like a lightweight right or but they're not a lightweight and they they probably uh, they do all right for money okay you got this five of uh, uh, pinnacles here so the big story for them though is they came from like a really uh you know like their parents had money like they may have had like uh nannies and and i don't know it's crazy um, but I think that uh, either they divested themselves or somehow, um, and I believe that this person will have a higher education, okay? They will have gone through like a PhD level education somehow, maybe a doctor. And uh, that will be part of their story. Uh, of, you know, I, I get the sense maybe they made a decision to sort of like, prove themselves this devil here is very strong and it's 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 not i'm not getting like the normal vibe like the but uh, uh you know obsessions and all that um but there could be an element of that if they had like a fall it'd be like a, a workaholism it'd be like uh it's some ego in it it's like they're climbing the capricorn the goat they're climbing the mountain because they want to be at the top. I mean, they come, it's very uh, strong. They're very proud. They're very proud. Let me be honest. And very proud. And make. Uh, and they're very sincere. And one of their strengths in terms of business and uh, whatever they do, I think they might do quote unquote business, you know, um, this person. Um, they're very, they come across as being sincere and believable, you know. Honestly, they probably make a good politician to come think of it, you know. Uh, with that Gemini moon, you'd be able to communicate and come across authentically. They may have a gravitas, male or female, about them, you know, just a dignity about them. Yes, yes, a dignity. So you'll pick up on that. It's like just everyone will pick up, and it's just like seamless here. You know, uh, it's friendly, it's outgoing, uh, but there's also a dignity about it, like uh, in the way they uh, comport themselves here, guys. And um, this whole process that they went through of creating kind of this new independent self, this page of pentacles, um, is this kind of story of their life, uh, their life. They, they completely uh, emancipated themselves from the energy of their childhood, of their ancestry, of their DNA inheritance, perhaps, uh, in some way. They This person freed themselves here. Page pen. I, I mean, this definitely could be also, could be a light worker, could have went that way. You know, what they chose to put their work into. They are sad with Jim Moon. You know, they might not necessarily be out there be building bridges uh, as an engineer. You know, they could be working as a metaphysician <laughs> or something or a writer or anything like this here. Very dynamic energy. Um, but, you know, deep down, you know, there is always this energy that drives them that... Uh, it's a lack mentality. I think that's going to be deep down in them. It, there's something about their childhood that they just wanted to cut themselves away from it, you know. Um, this could be a classic case of like the father. Maybe just the father was this. Sometimes, I've never had a father, but sometimes with the fathers, it's this... Uh, 
domineering energy, even if they don't necessarily mean to, although they usually do when it's like that, because they're just dominant fathers, and it could be hard to live up to, and it's like no one, a person's very intelligent with these kings and the queen of swords, no one that's intelligent wants to live their life reacting to something else, that's not, you're, no matter what you do from there, you're not authentic, I'm just reacting to what my dad is doing, did do, will do, so you, to be authentic, you have to literally not uh, act uh, in any way in relation to someone else, so this could be kind of this process here too, it comes to mind, it's totally karmic, so you know, you, as an astrologer, you always see this in the family charts, and you look at the father and the son, father and the daughter. Um, you'll see these things and how they're playing out. We're all in this like soul family doing the dance here, I think. So that was the good news. Good news. But uh, I like this for you guys, Taurus. So let me know what you think. I appreciate a like. If you haven't, please do subscribe. And Mondays, always Aries Taurus Day. Thank you, guys.